If you're planning to hike your first 14er, I'd recommend setting your sights on Quandary Peak. Located less than two hours from Denver, the trailhead is easy to access, with paved roads open year-round. In fact, it's a great winter route and was the first 14er that my husband and I skied. Mountain goats are often spotted at the summit and the panoramic views are well worth the effort. Even if you are experienced hiking 14ers, Quandary Peak isn't one to miss. Hi there, I'm Abigail, a Colorado local who so far has summited 14 14ers. For those who may not know, 14ers are mountains that exceed over 14,000 feet in elevation, and Colorado is home to more of them than any other state in the country. In this video, I'll share seven of Colorado's best 14ers, and at the end, we'll tell you about a peak that often goes under the radar, and is my personal favorite. After watching, be sure to head to TravelLemming.com to read our full blog post that goes over even more 14ers to add to your bucket list. Now let's dive in. On the opposite side of the spectrum, there's the Crestone Needle, which stands out as one of Colorado's most challenging 14er hikes. The Class 3 climb is reserved for experts only, having high exposure and requiring strong route finding skills. Depending on how high your vehicle can climb up the rugged dirt road, the hike ranges from 12 to 18 miles. Many camp in the basin overnight to start the journey early and to peek bag the other 14ers nearby. My number one tip for the Crestone Needle, wear a helmet. You may think summiting Colorado's tallest mountain would be an extra hard challenge. And sure, no 14er is easy by any means. But Mount Elbert is actually a class one climb, meaning that the trail is obvious and no scrambling is required. Funny story, when my husband and I did this hike, we discovered at 4 a.m. that he forgot his boots. And so he did the nine and a half mile trek in slides. Wouldn't recommend, but still, Mount Elbert is a great choice for all skill levels. If you're enjoying this video so far, please tap the thumbs up button. That one click means a lot to our team and allows you to see similar videos to help you plan more Colorado adventures. At the top of Pikes Peak, you'll find a very different crowd than most other 14er hikes. Reason being, vehicles can actually drive to the summit, and the Pikes Peak Cog Railway also transports non-hikers. But there's nothing like truly conquering America's mountain via the iconic Bar Trail. This 24-mile route is best split up into two days, especially given the massive 7,600-foot elevation gain. To avoid sun exposure on the East Ridge, be sure to get an early start, just as you should with all 14er hikes. You don't want to get caught in an afternoon thunderstorm when above treeline. Want to peak bag several 14ers fast? Check out combination routes. Grace Peak and Torrey's Peak are a perfect example, as both can be summited in one go. Their shared trailhead is located one hour and 15 minutes from Denver, making it a popular ascent. As of summer 2021, parking along the road is no longer allowed, so be sure to get to the lot early, even before sunrise. This class two climb gains roughly 3,600 feet across 8.25 miles, offering a range of terrain and lots of fun scrambling. I'm gonna tell you about my favorite 14er in just a moment, but real quick, let me ask you something. Have you ever returned from a trip only to realize that you missed something amazing because you didn't know about it in advance? Thanks to our team of knowledgeable locals, you never have to feel that way again. Browse our travel guide library on travellemming.com or simply add the word lemming when searching any destination on Google. And now my personal favorite, La Plata Peak. As I mentioned, La Plata Peak isn't one that most rave about when it comes to Colorado 14ers, but with its trailhead on the beautiful Independence Pass, mellow wooded sections, challenging switchbacks, and views of the dramatic Ellingwood Ridge, La Plata Peak has it all. It's best hiked in summer and early fall, but I recommend the latter in order to see pops of yellow aspens when looking down from the mountain summit. After summiting La Plata Peak, I loved taking a short drive down to Mount Princeton Hot Springs. And heads up, Breckenridge Brewery is only 15 minutes from the Quandary Peak Trailhead. If you want to round out your 14er expedition with other nearby activities, be sure to watch our Things to Do in Colorado video next. Thanks for watching.